But the truth of the matter is that how is it that we can fund two illegal wars at $500 million a day? Think about that. $500 million a day. How in the world can we not fund the needs of the most advanced industrial nation in history? Yet we can fund wars and the war machine. Instead of tanks, we should be funding community centers. We should be funding schools. There's the resources available, but it won't come without a fight. You know, many times we go back, I think a lot of you have heard that we go back into the New Deal, what happened in 1930s and the Depression, how Franklin Roosevelt was the one who, who solved all the issues by voting on the New Deal. We have to understand that politicians didn't vote for that willingly. It wasn't one person who changed America. It wasn't one person who brought about prosperity. It was people who were fighting. There was unions who stopped working, who took militant action and sat in the factories and protested. It was movements around the country that told the government we can no longer take it because we have nothing to eat. Our children don't have a future. And we are frustrated. Enough is enough. And they stood up against all forms of state corruption, all forms of state power. And they won. They won huge concessions. They won the Social Security. They won unemployment benefits. All these things don't come just because we want them to come, just because they're moral. Capitalism is not a moral mechanism. It's not moral to give money to certain people and take it away from the masses. It's not moral to, give prof to look into profits when making a decision whether we want to fund the medication of a dying child. There's nothing moral in that. Healthcare is a right. Housing should be a right. Jobs should be a right. Education should be a right. These aren't complicated matters. We should demand this and we should continue organizing and fighting for those of you who are frustrated, for those of you who go into your communities, who see your neighbors losing their jobs, who see your neighbors losing your household. Change will only come if you organize, if you help out those members, come together and fight for change. So today we are here, we are, just a, we, just, we are just one of the organizations, the Party for Socialism and Liberation, who organize mass movements, who organize every day to do outreach in our respective areas. You also have the organization here for Students for Social Justice. It's important. It's important that you mobilize, that you connect. You hear so much now about technology bringing us together. We'll te bring technology, let technology bring us together. But once we're together, let's make something happen. Let's fight. And hopefully in the future, history will be written. Not that politicians did something for the people, not that a single person did something for the people, but that the people took power and did something for themselves. Thank you so much. Bravo. Thank you.